Hey Facebook friends, it's Christine Lucan, your financial lifeguard. Just uh, coming on to talk to you guys a little bit about credit repair because I had someone send me uh, a message and asked me specifically, um, is it worth it to pay someone to help you quote unquote fix your credit? So there's a couple of things that you you need to be aware of when it comes to you know building your credit, your credit score, fixing your credit. Um, and the very first thing that you need to understand is you know what your credit score is. So your credit score isn't the end all and be all of your financial health. Yes, you want a good credit score, but it's not the only indication of how well you're doing financially. So your credit score is based off of how you interact with debt. So if you have no debt and you've never had any debt, then you have no credit score. You have a zero. So that doesn't necessarily mean that you're broke or you're not financially healthy. It just means that you have no track record of interacting with debt. Now, there are some financial gurus who tell you not to worry about your credit score, that you should just pay off all your debt and um, not even worry about your credit score because the goal is to never borrow money. Well, I think for the vast majority of us, um, sure, it's a great goal to be 100% debt free, but there's a lot of people who are not going to be able to pay cash for a house. Um, you know, some people are in a situation where, you know, they need a newer car and they don't have time to save up and pay cash for the whole entire thing. Um, you know, my general view on debt is borrow as little as you need to and pay it back as quickly as possible. You know, I don't want you to be too comfortable carrying a bunch of debt. And the way I describe it is that debt is almost like carrying around a dumbbell. So if I gave you like a two pound dumbbell and told you that you needed to carry it around all day long today, um, you'd probably, you know, that probably wouldn't be too hard on you. You, know, you could probably make that work and it wouldn't be too bad. You know, you just toss it in your purse or your backpack. But if I told you you had to carry around a 50 pound dumbbell everywhere you went today, I mean, it would be hard to just like tie your shoes, right? So I want you to think about debt that way. You know, when you have debt, it's like you're carrying excess weight because you now have a payment. Um, and if you have a lot of debt, it can weigh on you emotionally and mentally. So we want to make sure that whatever debt we have is um, reasonable, it's easy for us to carry, and that um, we're not getting too super comfortable with it. You know, borrow as little as possible and pay it back as quickly as possible is the general rule. Um, you know, without getting into good debt and bad debt, uh, we'll probably save that for another live stream. Um, so. When it comes to your credit score, it's strictly about how you interact with your debt. And it is based off a couple of factors. Um, it is what kinds of debt do you have? Um, how long have you had it? Have you been making payments on time? What sort of mix of debt do you have? Is it just credit cards or is it a combination of a mortgage and a car payment and a credit card? So. You know, you can look that up online, and if you just want to search um, FICO score, F-I-C-O, that is, um, that's the organization that um, they actually have a lot of really good educational stuff about how your credit score is factored. So if you're interested in finding out exactly how that's put together. Um, but the real question was, should you pay someone to fix your credit? So there are companies and individuals, and I know I actually have a couple Facebook friends on here that do that, so maybe you want to weigh in. I think there probably are some upstanding organizations and some not-so-upstanding organizations that do this. Um, so, you know, really you want someone who 
is going to help you correct errors if there are any errors. Um, and you also want them to give you tips on how to organically improve your credit score. So they can tell you very specific things that you need to do based off of your situation in order to bring your credit score up. And typically you would want to do this if, um, let's say you went to get pre-qualified for a mortgage and for whatever reason um, you didn't get, um, you weren't qualified because of your credit score. So you would want someone who could give you very specific things to do to increase your credit score so you could get that mortgage. Um, but the one thing that you have to realize is that you know if your credit score is bad, it's probably because you haven't been interacting in a positive way with your debt. So if you have um, old collections that you've never paid, um, you're gonna need to take care of that. Now, obviously, if there are errors, then you can dispute that. Um, there are some credit repair places who say, you know, we'll get your score up so many points within so many days. And sometimes all they do is they dispute all of the negative information, whether it's true or not. Because what happens is when you dispute something, it temporarily comes off. Um, but if the company comes back and says, no, this is really the correct information, then what's going to happen is that it will go right back on there. So you don't want to pay someone to, uh, for a temporary solution. And the one thing that you have to remember is the only way that you are going to positively impact your credit score for the long haul is to pay your bills on time, to use your credit responsibly, and to just generally get yourself financially healthy. So, you know, when I talk about credit scores, I like to say it's similar to the number on the scale. So when you step onto the scale and weigh yourself, that does tell you something about how healthy you are but it doesn't give you the whole picture, okay? So, you know, you could have two women that both weigh 135 pounds. Uh, one woman drinks protein shakes for breakfast and runs five miles, and the other woman eats a donut and smokes a pack of cigarettes every day. So just because two people weigh the exact same amount, it doesn't mean that they are equally healthy. And that's the same thing with your credit score. So, you know, you might have a better credit score than me, but I might have more money in the bank than you. So that's the thing you have to think about is the true measure of how financially healthy you are is your net worth. And so your net worth is everything that you own minus everything that you owe. And the net result of that is what you're worth financially. And that is a much better uh, indication of how well you're doing hey Larry, um, of how well you're doing financially versus just your credit score because you know someone could have a super high credit score and their income might be $500 a week and someone could have a low credit score and their income is $1,500 a week. The other thing too is that um, you know if you win the Powerball tomorrow and you know you go and get your check for multi-millions that doesn't change your credit score one bit so yes it is important to pay some attention to your credit score um, and there's a lot of things that you can do organically to improve it and certainly you don't have to pay someone to do that um, if there are incorrect things on your credit score you can dispute that directly with the credit agency. Um, now, if that's something that you feel like would be very time consuming and you would rather pay somebody else to do it, you can certainly do that. Um, but if you are going to hire someone and pay money to have someone fix your credit, you wanna make sure they're coming at it from an ethical manner um, you know, that they're only disputing the things that are truly wrong and that they're helping educate you and correct the things um, that are negative that you have control over. 
So, um, you know, don't get super hung up on your credit score. It is something that you need to be aware of, but it's not something that you need to be obsessed with. So it's not like you need to be checking your credit score on your phone every day or once a week and be worried if it goes up a point or down a point. That's like the same thing as being super obsessed with your weight. Um, sure, you should probably step on the scale, you know, once or twice a week, but not like once or twice a day. Um, it's all about balance and because those two numbers, whether it's your weight or your credit score, they don't tell the whole picture about your health, either physically or financially. There's a lot of other things that are incorporated in that. So. I hope that answers the question, and uh, if not, feel free to message me directly, and maybe later this week I'll come on to talk about uh, good debt versus bad debt. And as always, if you guys have questions about particular things, um, you can feel free to drop them in the comments here, or you can message me directly, and I will cover them on an upcoming Facebook Live. So, happy hump day, it's Wednesday, woohoo, halfway to Friday. See you later.